Hi guys, welcome to this video. In this video, we are going to see how to make our USB storage devices, external USB storage devices such as USB flash drives, external hard disks, external SSDs to show up in our file manager in Void Linux. Now in almost all Linux distribution, this will be enabled by default. But in Void Linux, you have to go through a couple of steps for your USB external USB storage devices to be shown in your file manager. So let's move over to my desktop here. This is a virtual machine of Void Linux. Now I cannot show this in a real machine. I am running a Void Linux in the real machine as well. But the things that have to be set up have been set up. And not only that, when we change some a couple of lines in some config files for them to take effect, we have to log out and then log in again. Now I cannot do that because this uh, the computer, the real computer is actually recording the audio and and it is capturing the screen as well so i cannot have that the recording will be lost so that's why we are doing it in a virtual machine let's open a file manager here here no usb devices are shown because in this virtual machine no usb devices as have been plugged in in the real computer in my cpu in an usb slot a usb flash drive has been plugged in now how can we change that usb flash drive from that machine from the real machine to the virtual machine let's exit the full screen here I am using virtual machine manager or word manager and here you can see an option called as virtual machine. Let's uh, minimize this window. We don't need that. So go to that virtual machine and you will see redirect USB device. So here you can see general U disk. That's the uh, USB flash drive or 32 gigabyte USB flash drive that has been plugged into my real machine. So if I give a tick button here, what this essentially does is it transfers, it redirects that USB device from the main computer, from the real computer, the host computer to the virtual computer. It's like plugging in a USB flash drive or a USB uh, external uh, hard disk or an external SSD inside this virtual machine. So let's close that. So even when I transferred, when I redirected that USB flash drive, it still doesn't show here. It will not show because we have to install a couple of packages. So first of all, let's open up a terminal. Let's make this a little bit bigger. It's not getting bigger. What's the problem? Oh crap. Okay, I was pressing the wrong key. That's why it was not uh, becoming bigger. Let's make this bigger. And we have to have a couple of services enabled already. So where will all these services that are enabled be kept in void Linux? It will be kept in slash war slash service. So enter. Let's do an ls here. We need two services. We need dbus and we need elogindy. Both these services have to be enabled. And here, both the services are not present. So where will the services that uh, are installed but not enabled be present? Let's clear the screen. They will be present in slash etc slash sv. So let's open that. Let's do an ls. And here, dbus is present already. But elogindy is not present so let's clear the screen first let's install elogindy so sudo xbps dash install uh, elogindy enter it will ask for my password and elogindy has been uh, installed let's uh, clear the screen now if i do an ls elogindy is present here dbus is also present here now these services are available but they have not been enabled so how can we enable them so let's clear the screen again let's do sudo ln dash yes ln the link command dash s and in slash etc slash sv we are going to enable multiple services so let's do the curly braces and let's do dbus comma e login d let's close the curly braces and space slash war slash service we are creating a sim link between these two directories and that will enable that particular service run it is very very simple so enter now this will be enabled now if i go to cd slash war slash service dbus and e login d will be present here now these two packages have to be these two services have to be enabled now we need a package to be installed what is that package it is called as gvfs it is a virtual file system so sudo xbps dash install and gv 
fs now if you want to uh, connect your android smartphone as well then you will need another package called gvfs dash mtp so mtp stands for mobile transfer protocol so gvfs for your normal usb flash drives your external hard disk ssds etc and gvfs mtp for your mobile devices so let's install these packages so it's uh, going to be a long list of packages it has a lot of dependencies but it will not take a lot of time because the amount of uh, data that has to be downloaded is very very low so the installation has been completed now normally in any linux distribution once this process has been completed when this package has been installed the external uh, hard disk or the external flash drive should show in your uh, in your file manager but in wide linux it does not we still have some steps to do so i uh, st typically start my x session or my graphical session by using start x so let me clear the screen if you have already watched my other videos regarding how to start your uh, desktop using start x you will know that so if i do vim dot x in yet rc so you can see here this is my start x file so this file essentially tells uh, the computer when i run the command start x you execute this particular command now it does what it does it it executes awesome now in order for our external flash drives our external storage devices to show we have to add a particular line in front of this so dbus dbus dash run dash session so it was simply exec awesome now because we want our external storage devices to show in our file manager we add these three words here dbus dash run dash dash session so essentially it is exec let's zoom make this a little bit bigger so that you can see exec dbus dash run dash uh, dash session space awesome so escape to get out of insert mode colon wq to write and quit vim now if i reboot the system then we should have where the usb flash drives that is installed in the main computer which we have redirected to our virtual machine it should show in our uh, file manager let's see if it does so here we have let's give my password username and password then let's type start x to start our x server oh my god there is some problem here with this virtual machine let's reboot again again let's give our username our password let's start x i think ah yes now the problem is not there now if i open a file manager you can see that the external flash drive is being shown in my file manager and you also have a trash can facility so when you delete something it will go to the trash can so you can uh, uh, restore it if you want so this is by using startx now what if you are using a, a, a display manager or a login manager like lightdm so lightdm is actually installed in this system i think let's see let's go to uh, let's make this a little bigger let's go to slash hc slash sv so that is where the services will be present uh, lightdm is present here but it is not enabled so let's uh, clear the screen let's do sudo ln dash s the same command but instead of dbus and elogin d we are going to enable the lightdm service so enter and let's give my password and it will immediately enable uh, the lightdm service this is not good let's uh, restart it we still have to do some uh, changes to the lightdm config file so now we are uh, going to log in using a lightdm so let's see what happens i'm logging in using lightdm and now if i open my file manager again the usb flash drive and the trash can they are missing because we enabled the dbus run session only for startx we did not enable it for lightdm now we have to enable it for lightdm as well let's open a terminal let's make this a little bigger let's go cd into slash hc slash lightdm so this is the folder where lightdm will have all its config file if i do an ls you can see keys.conf then the greeter settings then lightdm settings then user.conf then finally we have a x session so this is a text file where we are going to make some 
changes. I am going to use vim since we are in the root directory. We need sudo privileges. So sudo vim and x session. So I am going to open that. It's going to ask for my password. Give my password. Then come to the very last line. So here you can see exec space ampersand and at. So how sorry dollar sign and at. It's not ampersand. It's the dollar sign and the at symbol. So we added some uh, words in the start x uh, config file in dot x init rc. We are going to add those same words here. So dbus dash run dash session. So previously it was exec and dollar sign and the at symbol. Now in between them we have added dbus dash run dash uh, session. Now let's colon wq to write and quit. Let's uh, reboot our system. Now when I log in using lightdm and open my file manager, you can see that the external flash drive and the trash can are visible. So this is how you will enable or uh, you will uh, make sure that your external USB devices, your external USB storage device, not all devices, other devices like your uh, keyboard, uh, mouse, they will all be visible already. But external mass storage devices like USB flash drives, external hard disks and SSDs are visible in your file manager in void Linux. I hope this video was useful. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you didn't like it, hit the dislike button. Now there are other methods to enable uh, the visibility of your external storage devices. But I find that this method is more useful, because more useful and more simple because most people just want to see their USB devices shown, USB storage devices shown in their file manager when they open a file manager. So that's it for this video. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. If you have anything to say, say them in the comment section. You can also contact me on social media like Mastodon and Reddit. I am not on any other social media. I also have a telegram group where you can ask your questions as well. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.